taking a break from creating YouTube videos or any kind of content really without an explanation is usually frowned upon. And that is exactly why I'm creating this video. To play catch up, talk a bit about what happened in the meantime and lastly to remind myself why I took this break and what was going on when I'm gonna rewatch my videos in a few years time. So yeah, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Seb aka GT Racing and today we are gonna talk exactly about what I just mentioned before. First of all, this just felt hella awkward. But anyways, if you're waiting for regular beginner content, that's probably gonna drop starting from next week, every two or three weeks, but yeah. That will be discussed in the video, so if you wanna stick around and listen to it, you can go and do so, and if you don't wanna stick around and don't wanna listen to me, then yeah, I guess have a nice day and I'll see you uh, eventually, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna stop with the shenanigans now. So the first thing I want to talk about is why I took a break. Since, you know, my last video was published around February 2022, which uh, currently isn't really recent anymore. So as you might know, I'm a computer science student, which is something I think I've mentioned a few times in my videos. And basically the short version, the TLDR, is that I was finishing up, or I was in the process of finishing up my bachelor and especially my bachelor thesis at the start of 2022. And I also had to do some additional exams to get my credit score up. And yeah, all of that kind of stressed me out. So I figured, hey, you know what? I'm gonna dial back on the least important thing that is currently going on, which at the time was my YouTube channel and sim racing as a hobby in general. And I guess it should be self-explanatory that a sim racing YouTube channel can't really flourish when you're not doing any sim racing anymore. <laughs> but you now may ask yourself, well, if you were finishing your bachelor at the start of 2022, then why did it take you until the end of 2022 to release this video? That, my friends, is indeed a really good question. To give you a full answer to this question would probably be out of the scope for this video. So I'm trying to keep it short. My first mistake was to not take a creative break or any break really after finishing my bachelor, since I immediately after decided to inscribe to my master studies, which wasn't really a smart move. Now, don't get me wrong, like, I'm still progressing in my master studies, I'm still doing more than fine, but let's just say my mental health took a pretty big hit due to me not resetting my stress level. And no, I'm not talking about anything overly serious, so nothing along the lines of suicidal or similar things. But still, if you have an underlying condition and suffer from a lot of stress, then this underlying condition will in some cases get amplified. And this nonsensical amplification is more or less what prevented me from coming back to sim race or playing certain games altogether. Now, I'm not gonna explicitly name what I'm suffering from, but based on the things I just said, you might be able to put one and one together and figure it out by yourself. Anyways, the good news is that I'm seeing a psychotherapist since the beginning of summer and I'm making steady progress, which is ultimately also why I'm able to release this video with hopefully sim racing footage in the background <laughs> even though it will be pretty bad since you know not doing sim racing for almost a year kind of shows its effect anyways that is basically the tldr version of what happened in the past year and if you have any questions whatsoever you can write them in the comments and i'll try to get back to you the remainder of the video will focus on what i'm planning for the future and how i'm planning to continue the most important thing is that the base values of my channel won't change. My content still will mainly focus on how to get started with sim racing and thereby also helping out beginners, as well as serving for me as an option to hone my second language, which in this case would be English. Now, the main difference for my future videos will probably be that I'm intending to not script my videos anymore, but rather talk about everything freely or just stick to some bullet points. I'm also considering doing some live streams over on Twitch, which are not entirely limited to just sim racing games, but I have yet to make my mind up about that matter, so I guess I'll just make a post in the YouTube community tab or on my Discord server. Yes, I created a Discord server just before I took my quote-unquote break last year, or like in the beginning of this year, since, as I've mentioned before, my intention wasn't really to take that long of a break. So if you're interested about general discussions about sim racing, motorsports or whatever, or want to be informed of what's coming up or what's going on with my channel, 
then the link is in the description you can just join so yeah my immediate goals are to get back up to speed in sim racing which eventually warrants a series showing some of the races i'm currently doing and integrating some fancy commentary but more importantly to make continuous progress in my master studies this is no doubt my main focus so if I combine those two goals, then the result is something like I'm doing my master studies, I'm fully focusing on them, and when I find some free time, I'll continue doing sim racing and making some videos for beginners, provided I get back into it, which I'm assuming I will, eventually. So yeah, I guess that pretty much covers everything I wanted to talk about. I do apologize for the scuffed gameplay in the background, but I guess it is what it is at the moment, as I'm trying to shake off the rust, and I'll be back in a few weeks time with a regular video. And with that said, thanks for watching and I hope I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.